Hello, welcome back to my allotment. Today I'm going to be planting my potatoes. They've been chitting away at home for the last couple of months on my sunny windowsill. So all of these potatoes have now got nice big chits on them. These are the shoots that are going to shoot up and grow into a great big plant very soon. Now I grow my potatoes in containers and I thought I'd show you today how I do it. So if you've watched my videos for a while, you'll know that I do get quite a substantial crop from growing my potatoes in containers. And the reason I grow them in pots is because my soil has this little pest called wireworm. And the wireworm is actually the larval stage of the click beetle. And when your potatoes are almost ready for harvest, they burrow into the potato, eating their way through it, making loads of holes. And then the potato essentially starts to go off a bit and you can't really eat them which is why I've started growing them in pots. And there are so many benefits to growing your pots in containers. I'll go over a few of them right now. Um, they're so much easier to harvest. You just tip them out and then all of your spuds are there ready for you. You don't have stray potatoes that get lost in your soil and then grow back again next year. You don't have the um, hard work of digging them out of the soil. You're not gonna be disturbing the soil. So it's great for no dig. You're also not going to be slicing through any potatoes with your fork or a spade when you're harvesting them because again, you just tip them out. If it's in a pot, you can move it. So if it starts to get too wet, too dry, uh, if you're worried about the frost, you know, you can move your pot to a different location. They're not in the ground permanently. But some of the drawbacks are it does involve compost. You need to buy compost to fill the pot and they can be a little bit heavy to move um, but really there aren't that many drawbacks to growing in containers and it's just how I grow them now. So I've got here my potatoes that I've already chitted. We've got quite a few varieties this year and I will have some spare that I'll give to friends and neighbours, anybody that wants them. Um, but some of the varieties I have here are King Edward and Cara, so they're our main crops, good old rounders for chipping, mashing, baking, that kind of thing. This one here is the Mayan Rose. I couldn't get hold of Pink Gypsy, which is my usual um, choice, the one with the white flesh with pink spots on the outside. This one looks very similar and will hopefully taste quite similar too, because I really do like that one. But yeah, Mayan Rose is my alternative to Pink Gypsy this year. My favorite second early is Charlotte because they grow so well for me here and you can harvest them as small new potatoes or let them grow on a bit to get a bit bigger. And you know, Charlotte's just a really good favorite for a lot of people. And um, I just love them, you know, slowly steamed, covered in butter, maybe a bit of mint sauce, just so good, They're one of my favorites. I've also got a first early, which I could have planted in March to get a really early crop. Um, you can see it's growing much bigger <laughs> than all the others already because it's a fast growing crop. Um, this one's called Colleen. I haven't tried it before. I do find that some first earlies don't have as much flavor as the others, um, like the later croppers, but it's always just good to get something a bit earlier than all the others. So I'll be growing these in smaller containers um, because they're gonna be a lot quicker and smaller potatoes. But yeah, Cara is my absolute favorite um, main crop. They're the ones that get really big. You saw me harvest them last year. I had some great whoppers from my pots last year and they just mash well, they bake well, they roast. You can make jacket potatoes, make wedges with them. They're so versatile. And I'll kid you not, when I got the pots out of my basement to reuse them for my potatoes, it's where I stored them over winter, I still had some in there that were ready to harvest. I didn't realize I'd completely forgotten about them. They did start to regrow a little bit, but they're still fresh and edible. So I harvested them mid-September and they're still fresh to eat now uh, towards the middle of April. So that's over six months in storage and they're still good to eat. So, you know, it's worthwhile picking varieties that will suit your style, whether you want to store them, eat them straight away. So how do we plant them in containers? Well, I use these rather large 20 litre pots and unless you're buying big trees or shrubs you won't really be able to get hold of these um, but if you go to your local garden center or nursery they may have some spare that they might be able to give you or you might be able to buy for a small charge um, so yeah i grow all of these in 20 liter containers um, first of all i put a small layer of compost in the bottom i'm using a peat free compost and in the bottom layer i also mix in a scoop of blood fish and bone and this is the sort of fertilizer that I use for my potatoes. And I just mix it into that bottom layer. 
I then take the potato and if it has three or more shoots, I rub them off. So I only really want three chits per potato. And then I plant it in the pot in the middle uh, with the shoots pointing upwards. So how many potatoes should you put in a pot? Um, well, that depends on the variety you're growing, whether it's an early, a main crop. Um, if you're growing it as an early, you may want to put two or three in a pot. It means you'll get smaller potatoes, but more of them. Whereas if you just put one per pot, um, you'll get bigger potatoes, but fewer of them. Uh, it also depends obviously on the pot size. If you're using a very small pot, you might only want to put one potato in it. For my first early and second early potatoes, I'll put two potatoes per pot, but for my main crops, I will only use one potato per 20 litre pot. And once the potato is in, it's just a case of topping up the rest of the container with compost. I do it right to the top. I don't faff about with earthing up um, in containers because I find that they grow so fast. I don't, in the past, only had time to earth them up once before they sort of reach the top of the pot anyway. So I don't waste any time <laughs> doing that. So I fill it right to the top. And um, then it's just a case of watering it in. On the patch of soil where I'm growing my containers, I actually rake the earth a little bit so that I can bury the pot into the soil by an inch or two. And that means that the, um, the holes of the container are covered by compost, so they're not gonna dry out as much. And also it means that if the roots grow down and through those um, pockets, those holes, they can actually reach down further into the soil to get some more moisture. When you're growing your potatoes in containers, it's really important that they don't dry out Potatoes do like it quite damp, so I try not to let the soil in the pots dry out and it can be quite tricky to keep on top of that in the summer months or if we have a particularly hot and dry spring. So make sure that you're keeping your pots well watered. So that's pretty much all there is to it. It's just a case of letting them grow, do their thing. Potatoes are one of the easiest crops to grow. In fact, it's one of the first things that I grew um, before I even had the allotment actually and it's just so easy and rewarding to harvest all of your potatoes and take them home store them and cook them up they just taste so good I'd love to know what varieties you're growing this year and how you grow them perhaps you also grow them in containers it's a great way of saving space as well you can just stick them on a patio or you know if you don't have open soil one thing to remember though is if you are putting them on a hard surface like patio or concrete just remember that surface is going to get quite hot in the summer months so again keeping up on your watering and maybe raising it off the ground a little bit with some of those pot feet and let the water drain through fully mm -hmm.